So today we're talking a little bit about the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Snap Pack. Microsoft Dynamics 365, as you know, is an ERP and CRM system that integrates with the entire Microsoft portfolio. Uh, and it's uh, very richly enabled and integrated within the Microsoft suite. But there might be cases where you have some data that's being pulled into uh, 365 from other sources, or you may need some of that data out in uh, other sources from Microsoft uh, Dynamics 365. All right, let's take a quick little look at one of these snaps here and how they're configured. So I can drag over the 365 uh, snap for read. Go ahead and pull up an account. And like the rest of the snaps that are available that attach to accounts and platforms, rather than depend on the user copying and pasting or typing in all kinds of uh, variable names, we're using uh, the, the introspection capabilities of our engine to actually pull up the options uh, that are available to use inside uh, our pipeline. So we can pull up an object type and a particular ID, I'm not sure if I've got one there. No, nope, I don't have one in this particular object, but that's fine. But that kind of gives you a, uh, a flavor of how that's configured there. Let's go look at a pipeline that uses this already. After this one saves. This one is a really interesting pipeline because it's bi-directional in nature. Not only are we getting data uh, from a source, from ServiceNow, we're putting it into Microsoft Dynamics 365, and then using the data that's returned from that to put back to the original object. So that's that's kind of a, a paradigm that's that's really common in some kind of accounting for in packages, in some kind of um, ID or authentication schemes where you have to, someone registers uh, in uh, one application and needs an ID from the other to tie those back together, and that's what we're doing here. We've got a uh, we've got a bi-directional update. We get users from ServiceNow, and we can leverage these features of, uh, of SnapLogic's uh, environment, design environment, to actually see the data as we go through our transformations. Uh, we take a sample of them, copy them over, right? Simplify some of the data here, uh, and then insert this data after it's been enriched, right? I've got 10 users here. Uh, they've all been uh, normalized, so their address uh, is in a single line here. We're going to go ahead and insert those into Microsoft Dynamics 365 as contacts. That's kind of an example of uh, how that's, that, that pipeline is built. Microsoft Dynamics 365 Snap is going to actually return us some data. And you can see here on the screen, it says object upstart uh, successfully. So we know we have an ID for those objects that came back for those contacts. Uh, and then we go ahead and update ServiceNow with that as well. So if I look here, I've got a correlation ID and a system ID. So now my system of record, ServiceNow, uh, knows exactly what that contact is in Dynamics 365. So that's a good example of bi-directional capabilities of uh, transforming the data and up doing multiple um, kind of updates uh, with one single pipeline. And that pipeline can be triggered either on a scheduled basis or via an API as well. So that sums up what we wanted to cover with the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Snap Pack. If you're curious how to learn more about how to get started with SnapLogic, sign up for a free trial or request a demo, and our team will be in touch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.